Good morning, my friends. Today I want to discuss with you uh, the principles of bearings and in this case precision precision bearings like in gyroscope bearings. So, <clears throat> and take it up to industrial um, type of bearings. So, a bearing typical for for uh, gyroscopic equipment or satellite reaction wheels will use uh, ABEC 9 bearing, a precision bearing. Uh, ABEC stands for um, Annual Bearing Engineering Com uh, Committee and they develop, this is an organization that develop bearings and um, they are from APMA, A-B-M-A, which stands for American Bearing Manufacturing Association. So bearings came in from in, in five categories, from ABAC 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. That is where all bearings will fall in. So if we can start at ABAC uh, 1, this is typical uh, bicycle bearings and for pool water pumps and all these kind of industrial and uh, low RPM bearings like in bicycles typically. And then one step further, um, ABEC 3 is a standard wheel bearing more or less on a car or equipment like in your uh, equipment on the farm, tractor wheel, tractor wheels and um, uh, discs and all these kind of things, more or less in the category 3 range. And then um, ABEC 5 would be uh, more or less in high spec gearboxes and supercars um, and in that type of class. And then uh, ABEX 7 is typically what you would find in jet engines and so on where everything needs to be good and balanced and um, so forth. So let's look here at the diagram that I've got for ABEX 9 and that is in the range that I worked most of my career. So if we can take a human hair the size of a human hair there. This is typical more or less between uh, 30 and 50 microns um, OD. This is a human hair and in comparison with a dust particle it is um, about that is uh, 10 more or less maximum of 10 uh, microns <clears throat> and then a fingerprint is um, 5 microns typical what you leave behind if you touch anything okay and then industrial smoke particle is a quarter of that a half micron or quarter micron and then tobacco smoke is you can see there much smaller and then the oil layer on a precision bearing like in gyroscopes is the oil layer there the oil film is uh, would be between that lines so if you can compare, if you touch your, with your finger, which you leave that behind, or there's industrial smoke or a dust particle inside there, it means a total failure of that bearing. And that is the truth. I've worked with this a lot in my life, where I prepare that bearings and go through processes to clean the bearings and uh, uh, the chemicals, even the chemicals that you buy is not good enough 
although it will say 99.99% uh, clean on the container, if you put it through a distiller uh, and uh, let it cook off and you distill the, um, the mist of it, that is then 100% clean and that's all that you uh, use to clean that bearings. And um, so if you take all this in consideration, if you say for instance work on your equipment, and you did not clean the grease circ off before you pump in grease what you actually do is you pump trillions and trillions and trillions guys of this size and even that size particles in your bearings so it's totally uh, uh, much uh, uh, lower grade of bearing but you can feel, imagine for yourself if you just keep this in mind what what cleanliness mean and you take care of your grease circs before you uh, insert grease it can make over time make that the bearing last longer and if you clean it take a bearing off and clean it and pack it in your workshop with dirty hands, uh, it is a recipe for failure. Um, although the type of bearing that we talk here is normally very small in a gyroscope, it's about the size or the OD of this pen, and such a bearing, one bearing would cost you easy $2,000, uh, whereas for a wheel bearing uh, might cost you a dollar or two dollars so it's all depending on on the ABEC spec that it fall in and I can just say the ABEC 9 means the roundness of the ball uh, not the cleanest of cleanest grade it's the roundness of the ball is the ABEC 9 and you clean then up to this spec then you've got a super uh, smooth bearing so if uh, a manufacturer uh, manufacturing the balls and the races for ABEC 9 they will typically make a batch of 200 balls and the same with the inner and the outer races that fall in the minimum and maximum spec for the roundness of that ABAC 9 bearing and then they will take each and every bearing ball measure it and see where it lies in the spec and say for instance a bearing takes 7 balls you, they will uh, what we do is we take seven, if there's seven in a bearing, seven balls, take the seven bearings in their respective containers that is the closest to each other and use them uh, together in one bearing and that is matched with the, with the race, inner race and outer race that fit the ball uh, roundness the best so it, even the all even of all the balls and all the races is in the same spec um, you, you can't interchange balls if you drop one ball from a ball uh, one bearing when you clean it and it's gone you scrap the whole bearing because you can't take another one unless you do a pairing from the beginning to see which other ball will fit in its place the best. So just a, big, a little bit of information guys how critical it is and that oil film layer that you see there between the ball and the race that is actually an oil film but it's so small um, that the way that you lubricate it is you take the bearing 
assembled bearing and put it in a container with special oil, bearing oil, and you put it in a high vacuum container at 90 degrees C Celsius and vacuum the bearing with the oil for eight hours. So what actually happens is you there is some oil molecules that will go into the steel molecules and in the rices and it is inside the, the outer layer. It is very, very, very thin, but there is oil protrude into the steel and that on the rice and the ball. And that is all that is the, what gives lubrication to that bearing. So you can imagine um, how thin that layer is. That's why I say if we work with with this bearings, uh, you absolutely work in a class 100 clean room with all the protective uh, uh, um, clothes on because even a tobacco smoke particle will make a failure of your product. So uh, and this is uh, bearing steel that they use to get that ABEC 9 spec with and in 2000 and the early 2000s I was in Germany and talked to this uh, a company there that manufacture ball bearings as well and my requirement was to manufacture um, zirconium ball bearings and it was only available up to spec uh, 7 and we uh, need nine for gyro bearings. And uh, a couple of years later, they manufactured zirconium bearing balls um, out of zirconium in ABEC 9 spec. And that means you can basically run it dry. No lubrication. Although we do, in any case, the the vacuum process just to give you that little only if you look at the 40 times magnification microscope you will only see a rainbow effect and that's all that you can see what as far as oil is concerned it leave a, a rainbow effect on on the shiny surfaces so guys if you uh, look at this and you Take a little bit more care of your equipment bearings when you clean it up or wash it with a dirty uh, rag or dirty fluids. You might as well um, have a recipe for failure on your own bearings. So work a little bit cleaner and you might win on the long run. Okay, my friends, that was just an interesting piece of uh, uh, facts about um, precision bearings and on overall on bearings. Okay, guys, I hope you found this uh, interesting and see you on the next one. Bye.